Crafting Brothers here. This week I'm going to be building a hangman's platform. Uh, this is kind of a uh, simple build, I think, anyway. So I'm going to be adding a bunch of other accessories here uh, that are either 3D printed or uh, come out of a kit. So I'm going to paint those up and uh, this will all kind of go together as a set. So let's get right to it and build a hangman's platform. Okay, so today I'm going to be building a hangman's platform. And I'm going to make this a little bigger than 28 millimeter scale maybe like 30, 35, and uh, I am going to make this a little bit bigger because I want to incorporate a couple of other torture devices. I'm going to start here by cutting out all of my foam pieces, which are going to become part of the hangman's platform. I'm using this technique more and more on the XPS foam of taking a razor blade and just lightly scoring the foam and then going over it with a wire brush. It gives great wood texture. All of the strips I've cut out and textured are now going to get a coat of Mod Podge and black paint and then golden brown. After that I'm ready to start cutting out the pieces to size and then I'm going to glue all of the framework together. I didn't really have a specific size in mind but I'm going to end up with about a 6 inch platform. Once I've got the basic platform structure put together, I'm going to use some coffee stirring sticks for the top of this platform. Also there are going to be three hangman's nooses, so I need to have a trap door for each one. And after the trapdoor frame is done, I'm just going to make these little trapdoors to go inside the frame. After that's done, everything is going to get a coat of golden brown. Next, I've created a little frame structure here for a staircase to the platform. Moving on now, I'm going to create the overhead structure where the nooses are going to be hung from. Back to the staircase here, I'm just cutting some tongue depressors to size here so I can finish the staircase to the platform. Now it's time to add a little more strength to the overall structure. Just like anything else, if you're building something out of wood, you have to put support beams in here so it doesn't collapse. And I'm just going to finish everything up here with another coat of golden brown. I decided to add a little detail that I think is going to look cool. I'm just rolling out some oven baked Sculpey here and then what I'm going to do is cut out little plates and paint them with metallic brass and I will mount them onto the platform as though they're holding it together.
now let's move on to some other items that are going to be a part of this build here. I'm going to build a medieval weapons rack here. So I'm printing out all of these miniature swords, give them a coat of paint, and then I'm going to 3D print a rack to mount them on. Once all the weapons are painted up, I'm going to use super glue here to attach them all to this weapons rack. After that's all glued together, I'm going to go ahead and give this a black wash. I found this 3D print file for a medieval vendor's booth, so this will become a weapons vendor as part of this scene. Next I found this really cool 3D print file for a guillotine and I thought this would be a great addition to the scene and it even came with a peasant who is ready to have his head chopped off. Okay back to the platform now, I'm ready to give all of my wood structures a coat of this acrylic brown ink. It's actually a burnt umber and one or two coats of this is all you need to finish up the wood planks. My brother Greg bought me this WizKids set of townspeople and accessories and I found some perfect pieces here to add to this scene here. I've got another vendor's booth, there is a forging station, a billow, and basically just all of the things that you would need to make weapons. So this is all going to be part of this scene. I'm going to skip most of the painting here because it just seems a little bit tedious, but uh, these are basically just going to be mostly wood and stone pieces, so it should be pretty simple. It was a little tricky trying to tie such a small hangman's noose, but with the help of a pencil and a vice grip, I was able to get the knots tied and on my platform. The last step for me here is to brown wash everything, including the ropes, and this hangman's platform is done. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my build of this medieval hangman's platform. Send me your comments as usual and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next week with another build or challenge. Bye now.